Welcome to this vlog, um, to this autumn vlog. As you might know, I'm obsessed with autumn. Um, I've already filmed a autumn, um, an autumn morning routine, so you can watch that if you like. But I'm so obsessed, and I haven't been in the past, but I've just fallen in love with autumn when the leaves turn into pretty colors. Um, pumpkin, um, the color orange, it's such a vibe. I'm just so obsessed. Today I'm filming this autumn vlog. Um, I'm gonna film this for a couple of days and just show you a couple of things that I like to do in autumn or that just set the mood. I woke up, um, I did my skincare routine, I made myself a tea and I wrote into in, in my journal. I obviously lit some candles as well, that's what I do first thing in the morning to just set the mood. Um, and I already listened to this autumn playlist, it's just a random autumn playlist, but I just like to put that on in the morning. It's such a vibe and it's so calming. I'm, I'm still in my um, pajamas, um, so I'm gonna fix all that. And then, uh, yeah, start the day. <music> As you can see, I'm, I'm currently sitting in my living room um, in front of the big mirror just because um, our bathroom, I mean, it's nice and all. It's a little bit small, but that's fine. But what's really annoying is that there is no window. I mean, that applies to a lot of bathrooms, but it's just so annoying because I just like to put my makeup on in natural lighting and that's obviously not possible there. And sometimes I just feel like here it's like nicer to put it on. It's like um, the... The atmosphere is just nice in here. Um, I'll put on some music. I have the natural lighting that just comes from there. And um, I just really enjoy putting my makeup on here. And it's, yeah, it's just so much nicer. <laughs> I really like to do is not just in autumn but for every season or if I'm doing something or preparing myself for something special something that I'm really excited for is I make a mood board on um, Pinterest I don't know it's become like a really weird obsession that I'm always making some kinds of mood boards so I've done one for autumn as well so I just basically go on Pinterest and I just type in like autumn vibes or like autumn aesthetics and then it just shows me all everything um, regarding autumn and then I just pick pictures that I really like that like resonate with what I have in mind for autumn and then I just put together like this really Kiwi collage or I just save them on Pinterest in one folder so that's my mood board so every time I'm looking for autumn inspiration I just go through there and I see if this is something that I can also work with um, for my content I just get really inspired through um, Pinterest but mood board is completely in in like orange brown like all these kind of natural earth colors I just love it and it's everything is so cozy and candles and jumpers things that people are baking i really really want to do something pumpkin or like cinnamon rolls and stuff so i'm gonna see if i will get this stuff just the perfect hot beverages so yeah i'm just i'm so obsessed oh and something that also fits with the theme autumn i accidentally bought the wrong mascara because i always use this one the sky high from maybelline it's just my favorite and i just grabbed it the other day because mine was empty and i didn't look that closely and when i then used it for the first time um, I opened it and I realized, I, I don't know if you can actually see this, but it's brown. And I was like, oh no, I bought the wrong one because I always take the black one. And I was like, oh, okay, just work with what I have. But yeah, it kind of fits the, the autumn theme here. Actually, I really like it. It doesn't make that big of a difference. Like if you look really, really closely, you can see that it's not black, but basically just there is no difference. And then when I realized like, oh, okay, it's brown and it fits the autumn theme, I was like, okay, well, we just go with that this autumn. And uh, yeah, I really, really like it. <laughs> One 
something that I really enjoy eating in autumn and um, pumpkin soup and I found this recipe it's nothing too fancy but I really wanted to try it out um, I went grocery shopping yesterday and I already cut the pumpkin because I forgot to talk to you guys and started cutting it and then realized oh I, sh I, I really wanted to talk to you about this first so you've probably already seen me cutting the pumpkin now I also changed because I was wearing a beige jumper so I was like oh might not be the best idea because everything also my hands like everything was orange so I put on this um, black jumper so yeah so next I'm going to put everything into a pot um, let it cook and then I'm gonna puree it and then I'll have it for dinner tonight and then just later put some fresh parsley on it so I give it a try and I can share the recipe with you guys if in the end it really tastes good <laughs> the pumpkin and the potatoes are cooking right now and I'm gonna leave it on the stove for about an hour and during that time I will organize my wardrobe I will clean my wardrobe I do that twice a year so in in autumn I put away all my summer clothes and take out all my winter stuff and in spring I put away the winter clothes and take out all the spring summer clothes I already put away all the summer clothes last week so now I'm just gonna um, take all my winter clothes and put them into the wardrobe we have a big wardrobe but it's my boyfriend's and mine, so we have to share the space, so then it's not too big. We both have our stuff in there, so that's why I change, depending on the season, I change uh, my clothes. And I think it's a really good idea, even if you have a lot of space, because I feel like I'm more organized this way, because I don't accidentally grab winter stuff in summer, or I don't have to go through my jumpers to find a skirt or something. That's what I do, so I think it's really practical as well. I'm gonna do that now, and then afterwards I'm gonna parade the soup, and then, yeah, see how it tastes, and then I will have it um, as my dinner tonight. I'm not sure I'll be talking to you guys today anymore, but if not, I'll get back to you tomorrow. I'm gonna make cinnamon rolls. Um, I'm so excited. Um, it's also a new recipe. I absolutely love them. So, yeah, I'm in kind of in this, like, autumn-y um, cooking recipes kind of mood, like, everything that fits to, with autumn like uh, pumpkin soup um, cinnamon rolls like everything cozy can you say that the fruit is cozy but yeah I'm gonna do that tomorrow so I'll be yeah, talking to you tomorrow I decided to go on a little autumn walk. I got myself a chai latte and it's so beautiful outside. The sun is shining and it's a little bit cold, but it's, um, it's such a beautiful day. So yeah, I decided to go on a walk and just listening to music, spend a little time with my thoughts and uh, get out of the apartment. I love autumn walks. I love when the, um, when the leaves turn to pretty colors, you walk around, the sun is shining, the, the leaves are on the ground. It's just, such a vibe i don't know i just love it really enjoying this walk right now cinnamon rolls yesterday when I was talking about my autumn mood boards that I make on Pinterest and that I see cinnamon rolls everywhere I had such cravings for um, them so I went to the grocery store I got everything and I'm making cinnamon rolls today I'm really excited and I can't wait to do that I really hope it will work um, because I'm obviously using yeast and it's always I feel it's like it's always so tricky with yeast like the dough has to rise and sometimes it just doesn't work 
at least not when I do it, so it might be a thing, um, might just be my problem. But yeah, I'm, I'm trying that out. I'm making the dough first and then I have to leave it for, I think, an hour or two to see if the dough rises. I really hope it does. And then continue afterwards with um, like putting them in the oven and everything. I'm really excited. I'm going to do that now. I already made myself ready. Um, I woke up, I let in some fresh air in my bedroom. I made the bed, filled in my journal. Add a chai latte, a pumpkin spice chai latte. I'm actually not sure if I've already shown you what I'm using when I say I'm doing anything with pumpkin spice. It's this one from Muni. I just love it so much. Um, it just says pumpkin spice and that's the big bottle. It's not, I haven't used all of this this year. It's from last year. So yeah, I'm obsessed, but not that obsessed. So yeah, I put a little bit of that in my um, chai latte and then it's a pumpkin spice chai latte and I really like the taste. I did that and um, yeah changed into this jumper which is really really cozy i really like it and yeah going to make the cinnamon rolls now I just made the dough and like ev like every time I'm in the kitchen something goes wrong. So the recipe said to melt the butter and then pour the cold milk on it and then put the yeast in it so it dissolves but it didn't really dissolve it just got like it dissolved with the butter but then there was like this yeast butter mass in the milk. I mixed it then with the rest of the ingredients the flour and the sugar in another bowl anyway so I was like okay we'll be fine and then I started mixing it but then it didn't really work so i called my mom i always call my mom when i'm in the kitchen i have no idea what i'm doing so she took one look at it and she was like oh you have the wrong attachments on your hand mixer and i was like oh of course because they're the special ones you use when you're doing anything with these and so i changed that um but then somehow the hand mixer slipped from my hand and i had the dough everywhere you already saw that because i did that already so yeah um i decided to put that in this video because that's just reality that's what happens when i'm in the kitchen but yeah now i really hope that even though the the yeast but uh, milk mix didn't end up the way it should have. Um, I really hope the dough rises and um, yeah, I'm gonna wait um, 40 minutes and see how it looks and then I'm gonna finish the cinnamon rolls. So it's been an hour and the dough hasn't risen yet or not the way I hoped it would have um, by now um, but doesn't matter I just leave it a little bit longer and we decided spontaneously to go and have breakfast so we are now looking for a breakfast spot let's see if we find something it's so hard sometimes if you didn't make a reservation to get something but yeah I guess we're just trying to go to different places and see if we uh, can find a spot towards I'm gonna do the cinnamon rolls and I really really hope that the dough has risen by then back from the breakfast place it was really nice um, breakfast was really good and then we came back and I continued making the cinnamon rolls and fortunately the dough had risen so I could continue and it took way longer than the recipe said it should but I don't know why but it doesn't matter because they turned out really nice I then made the sugar cinnamon buttercream that I spread all over the dough then I rolled the dough and put them um, in the oven and they just got out I have the first batch here the other one is still in the oven and they look so nice I'm gonna show you in a second they look really juicy brown I'm just uh, I'm just in love with how they look i just really hope they taste as good as they look but yeah i'm really happy it worked out and i'm gonna show you now so i'm gonna just gonna take the first one here i mean look at that look how good it looks how brown it is you can see the cinnamon it's juicy the dough looks fluffy i'm just really really happy they turned out this 
this good. I'm gonna have one with milk right now. Um, I really like that. Something that I wanted to mention in this autumn vlog as well is that even though I absolutely love um, autumn and I'm obsessed with winter and Christmas, I'm still aware that there is this shift in season and I feel that extremely. I wouldn't say it's like a, a like seasonal depression, but it's like the seasonal moodiness. It's like um, I just feel more sleepy. I feel low in energy. Um, I have less motivation. I just sometimes feel sad or a little bit more down than usual. And this just happens when I feel like the days feel like they're shorter because um, when I start working um, it's dark, when I finish working it's dark so it feels like it's always dark and this is something that affects my mood um, and also my mindset and also my mental health a lot which is why I always try to do things um, that are typical for the season that are really really nice and I actually enjoy and really really love such as like getting pumpkins, doing uh, making a pumpkin soup, I made the cinnamon rolls, these are just like little things that help me and that I really enjoy doing but every time when I feel like um, this season or like autumn, winter, the darkness is just getting getting to me, I try to do something positive, something that lifts up my mood and um, sometimes it's just going um, to a cafe with a friend and have a hot beverage and just talk and, and spend time together. Uh, go for a walk if, if, it, if it's not raining or too cold outside and just get some fresh air. I just try to look at everything from a different perspective because I know that sometimes it's I just feel really constricted and, 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 and desperate and then moody and then sad at the same time and I'm like oh my god I want summer back and it's so cold and it's so dark and especially in Germany. I feel like there are, there are so many places that where winter is like really really beautiful, it's snowing but the sun is still shining and then you have like this really nice coldness and, and decorations everywhere but in Germany it's basically we don't have that much snow. I mean, it depends on where you live, but where I live, we don't have that much snow. It melts right away. It's it's really rainy and gray. And when, when it's like this every day, it just gets to me. So yeah, these are just a couple of things that I do that help me. So I'm more motivated. I just wanted to mention this to you because I know that a lot of people suffer from this as well and that it's totally normal and that there are ways to make it a little bit better. Maybe some of the things that I do might inspire you. I'm gonna burn. 